the Zoom H5 Handy Recorder has the ability to be able to accept a lavalier microphone uh, right on the side of the head here. But did you know that with the appropriate adapters, you can actually split the recorder into a true four channel lavalier microphone recorder. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of the ways in which you can do this, also some of the gear that you'll need to do it, but especially some really good safety tips to stop you blowing the living daylights out of these little lavalier microphones, because if you don't choose the right functions, then uh, the voltage will be so high that it'll just cook these little fellows. G'day, my name is Gary, and on this channel, you'll find videos to help just ease the pain of getting to know audio gear and video gear and uh, make life a little bit easier for you as a creator. Uh, just to quickly give you an idea of how they function, they're a little condenser microphone, and inside the, the microphone, they have a little amplifier. That amplifier has to be powered, so uh, that power comes from the device that you've got it plugged into. It could be your mobile phone or it could be your camera, your DSLR camera. And the device will supply just enough voltage for that little amplifier to function. The voltage needed for these little condenser microphones is around 1.5 to 2 volts. Now this will vary depending on the brand, but you can see it's only a very small amount of voltage. On the side here, the side of the head, there's a 3.5 millimeter input that you can connect your lavalier microphone directly to. There is another step that you need to take. You need to go into the settings of the H5 by just pressing the little menu button on the side here. You enter the menu and then use the little toggle on the side to actually go down to in and out, plug in power, and I'm going to switch that plug-in power on, which is 1.5 to 2 volts. Go back to the main menu. And there we have it. We've got some power now from that little lavalier microphone. So that's one thing you'll need to make sure is switched on, the plug-in power. Now, if you want to uh, separate the stereo input into two different channels, you'll have to have an adapter. Now, as you can see straight up, the, we've got a single mono lavalier microphone, but it's going across both the left and the right channel. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we know that the plug-in power is correct. I'll just pull this out. And I'm going to use a, an adapter by Hoyer. Now, what I've done is I've, I've put the uh, link to this particular adapter in the, the description uh, so that you can... Uh, just check it out for yourself and maybe a costing of it in your own area. Uh, there, there may be some cheaper ones around and, and you're more than willing to try those, but this particular one seems to be a really good quality one and I've been really happy with it. So to use the adapter, you simply substitute the plug for your microphone, put it into there, and now that has actually separated the stereo channel into both a left and a right. So depending on how you want to configure it, you can just uh, plug in your microphones into there. Now let me just get this other microphone set up and plug him in. And now you should be able to see the two microphones functioning. So just for this exercise, I'm going to just very gently rub this microphone. And you can see how on the right hand channel that's indicating and then on the left hand channel here yep so it's it's functioning as well don't forget that this function has to be switched on at the front here now as with any uh, testing of uh, microphones and setting them up with the right uh, gain you need to adjust this gain here so uh, that the level does not go past uh, minus 12. Now, now that's just a goal level. Uh, some people say you could go a little bit higher than that, but in practice I've found that minus 12 is a really good uh, peak level. This is a good recorder, it has a very low noise floor, so even if you have to lift up the gain a little bit in post-production, 
uh, it still will be a nice clean recording. So that now gives you the ability to plug two microphones into that single stereo channel. Now what about using the XLR inputs that are on the bottom of the H5? Let's have a closer look at that now. The Zoom H5 is set up with two XLR inputs on the bottom and that's designed to accommodate any professional type microphones that you want to plug in. And it also has the ability to accept a what they call a 6.5mm phono plug like a guitar lead or something like that can plug into the center of it. So it's a very useful uh, socket. But you, you do need to understand how this socket can be configured because there are options in the menu to switch on what's called phantom power. Let me just take you through those settings in the menu to make sure it's set up correctly because as mentioned earlier, these little lavalier microphones, they only need 1.5 to 2 volts of power. But you know what? This socket on the back here is designed so you can switch on phantom power for the professional type microphones and that is actually 32 times greater voltage. It's around 48 volts that they supply to power those more professional microphones. So let's go through the, the settings in the menu. Uh, use the little menu button on the side here to enter the menu and then select up uh, in and out because it's an input that you're working on and you'll notice down here where we were before we had a look at that plug-in power option and we're going to have a look at this phantom power see inputs 1 slash 2 we select that by pressing in the toggle button and it gives us the option of adjusting the voltage to 12, 24 or plus 48 now I'm going to select plus 48 because that's when I do use a condenser microphone that's the voltage I need but you see here you've got the option of on or off the H5 gives you, gives you the option of uh, selecting all of the inputs that's both of them or you can independently adjust each of them so uh, let's say for instance we're looking at input number one I'm going to select that and I'm going to switch the power for that input to off. And input two, I'm going to switch that on. So now we have the left hand input here, which is selected as off. So it has no voltage at all. And the right hand one has 48 volts uh, supplied. Now, why have I selected 48 volts? Well, it just so happens that I've got two different adapters to show you. One is a, a standard uh, XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. And there's, there's basically nothing inside apart from uh, cabling to connect those two uh, different jacks. So you can imagine that any voltage that comes through is going to just go from one end to the other. Now, there is another adapter that you can get. This particular one's by Rode. It's called a, a X, sorry, a VXLR Plus, and it has a little processor inside, like a little, little electronic circuit. And you can actually put 48 volts into the end of this, and then what comes out the other end is just plug-in power, which is approximately 1.5 to 2 volts, ideal for lavalier microphones. Now, in my opinion, you can use both of these, but I don't know about you. I like to have a little bit of a safety blanket. These are quite cheap. They're under $20. These ones here might be a little bit more than that. I think they're around $60 or $70, depending on where you're purchasing them from in the world. Uh, but just seriously think about getting one of these if you're going to plug an expensive lavalier microphone into your H5. Now it gives you a, a bit of a safety in the sense that if you mistakenly uh, have the phantom power switched on, uh, it's not going to cook your you know, lavalier microphone that you might have spent you know, two or $300 on. So now uh, I had uh, the second channel hooked up with phantom power. I'm just going to take that little, turn that little clip loop around. So with the Rode uh, adapter here, it'll actually have 48 volts coming in one end, 
it'll have the 1.5 to 2 volts coming out of the other. Now let me just plug in the little microphone. There we go, we've got the, the little lavalier microphone plugged in now. I'll go back and I'm going to select channel 2 and adjust the, the, the channel level. So let's, yep, that input is functioning fine. It hasn't burnt out or anything terrible, which is nice. Now let's have a look at using this standard adapter, which it doesn't have any attenuation for voltage or anything in it. It's just a straight through adapter. It does allow you to plug an XLR into the bottom of the H5 and adapt it to a 3.5 millimeter jack. But again, I've got to warn you that there's no protections with this one. So you have to be very, very careful when you set it up. So this is input number one, and I'm going to select the menu option and in out. And we're going back to the phantom power on off. And this is input number one. At the moment, it says it's off. Now we've double checked that this particular input number one has the voltage switched off. And we've plugged in the lavalier microphone, plus we're using a lavalier microphone that has its own power supply because uh, we're not adapting it from phantom power, 48 volts. We're just using this little powered lavalier microphone. And I'm just um, gonna make sure that I select the left hand, that's the number one channel and we have the microphone functioning. There we are. So just to show you what I mean by a self-powered lavalier microphone, it has a little switch on the side, so I'm gonna turn that off. And now there's no power running to the lavalier microphone, and you can see there's no input level. Plugging in lavalier microphones to your Zoom H5 is not really a problem if you've got the appropriate adapters. So to separate the stereo input on the side of the head here into two inputs, you'll need one of those Hoyer adapters. That's a 3.5 millimeter to separated uh, two channel inputs. That way you can plug two microphones in. If you're gonna use the XLR inputs on the bottom, it's a little bit more complex, but you do need to be aware that the voltage output of these is way higher than you need. So uh, if you wanna do the use the best option, get one of these VXLR Plus uh, adapters. They will actually reduce your 48 volt phantom power down to the appropriate plug-in power. If you can only afford one of these little adapters, which is a standard XLR to 3.5 uh, adapter, which has just got uh, its connecting cables inside, you will need to use one of these lavalier microphones that has its own little onboard battery. So it's self-powered. And be aware, you need to go into the menu and switch off the phantom power to the channel that you're using, or you'll end up cooking the little circuit of those sensitive microphones. I've left links in the description for all of these items that uh, you see in front of you here. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I love reading them. I'll get back to you uh, as soon as, I, soon as I possibly can on those. Until next time, I'll catch you later.